Pete from Cheap Homesteading and today we are going to start working on the barn again. Uh, this barn project's been hanging around, hanging around. It's just, you know what, it's so hard to get everything done. Um, the greenhouse took a lot of my time and effort away and I couldn't finish the barn. Um, I, I really did feel the greenhouse was a more important project at the moment. Uh, now it's kind of turned back. I need to get this barn done. It's the price of everything. I feel like we really do need to get animals on the homestead. So I'm back on the barn and hopefully I can get uh, most of the work done to the barn throughout the winter. And then hopefully by spring we can start working towards getting animals around here. So I'm going to give you a little tour and show you what I'm going to do. So this is the barn. It's a nice old building. My grandfather, um, brought it here it wasn't here originally on the homestead he brought it and he really wasn't a carpenter um and they didn't have much money either so i, I can't you, uh, give them too much of a hard time but they just sat the building down on the ground uh, and it's been there for probably 80 years maybe 90 um and it's still there and it's starting to rot all the beams so I kind of look at this and I can't afford to put a foundation under it, but I can just leave it because it's going to rot. And it kind of makes it that I can't have animals in it. So what I came up with was uh, the bottom board needs to be replaced. And I just went and got pressure treated six by sixes. I don't know what I think of pressure treated um, with having animals around, but uh, if I have to try to keep the animals away from it, I will. Um, but it was the most affordable option to actually fix up the barn to the point where I can actually, um, use it. So I kind of had to do it. So like $700 later, I have enough six by sixes to replace, um, the bottom sill board. So I think that's going to make it sturdy. So what I'm going to do is jack up the barn just a little bit, mark it off. Uh, where the six by sixes is, cut it out and just insert it and nail it in place. So I do think this is going to work really good because I measured up and it's uh, definitely not six inches of rot. It's like about two, three inches. Uh, so we are all good to go. We'll just start replacing the uh, bottom cell. Okay, so 10 feet is somewhere here. So that's great. Uh, so I can put this piece in. And I don't have to move this huge pile of wood here. Uh, so that's the first one. We're going to put this one. Some of these are incredibly heavy. I think they soaked up water. Okay. I jacked up here, I've taken the weight off this corner of the wall. I am going to uh, get the chainsaw, we're gonna cut that off, and then hopefully I can stick the end in at least up to the first two, and then we can cut the rest, and then I can just shove it in place with the sledge, and then we should be good to go.
Wow, that chain's not going to be good. Anyways, that's not bad. We got her out. I need to get the sledge. So this is working good. The barn didn't fall down yet, which is a bonus. It's all nice and sturdy. We're gonna scrape out all that stuff and then hammer in the six by six. And if it all works out, it should fit real good. Let down the jack, let's see if it sits. Ooh. So there you go, the six by six is in place. That is way more sturdy than what was there before, for sure. Um, I'm gonna start screwing in the studs, tying that in, make sure that's nice and sturdy. And then uh, probably I'll try to wrap it around the corner, fix that. Okay, so that is going faster than I thought. Uh, you know what, sometimes you build up these projects in your mind more than anything else. If I get this one in, I get the one on the corner, that is two of my 10 installed. Um, that's really not gonna go too bad. Um, and I, th I can kind of envision how it's gonna go. It's pressure treated, so it should last a long time just sitting on the ground. Uh, definitely, uh, it's a big upgrade from what was there. This side is in and fastened down, nice and solid. Now I'm gonna put this corner piece in. Uh, this wall bows out a little bit, so I'm gonna have to try to put it in straight and then try to pull the wall back. I might have to get a come along or something to pull the wall back, uh, to straighten it up a little bit. Because um, there is, it's probably almost six inches eight inches deflection so so let's start getting the other one ready to put the uh, six by six in
that chain's gonna be done. Crazy. So you know what, I only had two to three hours to work on it and I said I have to get out here and just start at it. Because I find once I start on a project and I get motivated, I keep going. My goal is to get like at least the base of the building fixed uh, throughout the winter, getting it all like uh, reinforced because um, I didn't want to touch anything else on the building until I got the base of it nice and solid. Um, because as you can see, it was all rotten around the bottom and I didn't know how the building was going to settle. So once this is done, we can do probably a lot more funner projects in the barn. You know what? I had two to three hours to play with. If I get this corner done, I'll be super happy. That's coming out way better than I thought. It sat down really, really nice. And the wall pulls back a little easier than I thought. So uh, we're just gonna start screwing it down to the six by six. So basically in my mind, all fine carpentry starts with a chainsaw. So, you know, when you look at what I do, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm, my goal is to make it that it's usable and it's left a lot better than how I got it anyways. And I think this is going to work. I know that my grandfather didn't put any money into it because he didn't have any. And my dad, he didn't put much money into it because he wasn't really using it very much. It was just basically storage, so he didn't have much value in it. Um, me, For me, I'm wanting to get animals, so if I can do a little bit of work to it, and get it so I can have animals in it. I really feel that it's important to be able to have your own livestock. It's uh, the price of everything is getting out of hand. I really think that we have to start uh, shrinking our supply chains to a very local um, and work together with people because the price of stuff is just going up and you really don't see an end to it. So there you go, I got one corner done. I don't know what I expected to get done, but um, that's done. So the next time, if I can get the other corner, I kind of have the, almost the whole back of the barn done. Uh, it's it's looking good. I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to build some uh, corner braces, but um, other than that, I think this is coming along. Okay, so we're gonna set this down. Oh, the weight's off it. Hey, so there you go. We got that six by six in. I'm going to uh, make a, somehow a corner brace, maybe metal, and then try to suck in those two six by sixes just a little bit. Um, these are all pulled in. I have to pull this in just a little bit more, um, but I think when I get the rest of the building jacked up, it'll probably just kind of slide over. So there you go. Uh, I only had a few hours to work on it, but I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, I'm hoping by the end of this winter that the barn is in a much better shape than it was. And I was kind of hoping at least by spring, but that's kind of a little over ambitious. Um, maybe um, by fall, maybe we can start having some animals. So 
Uh, that's what we're going to try to do anyways. I really think it's important to do a lot more of that stuff yourself. So uh, that's about enough for today. And you guys have a good one.